All right, so I guess there are some people that call that might want to help get the breast augmentation for Robert and a 16-year-old. Oh, uh, mm. I'll let you know if that happens. Yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I guess somebody, I'm here. Somebody called and said they want to do it. I don't, I don't think you, I don't think you can do it, even with parental. I what mean, even it, if even if your mom or dad signs off on it, I don't think you can get what that. If step, you, you what can. if your stepdad signs for it? You, you can. can. Get, you can get a 17-year-old. Yes, you can. She's 16. No. I'm positive of it. She's 16. I think he said her birthday was in next, like coming up. No. Yeah. Hey, man, it's a Christmas wish. Oh man, there so, are there are more suitable wishes though that we should try and probably than, yeah than hey, we, we have a guest that's here uh adam the woo and i don't know what i don't know what a woo is adam so, the woo is an interesting guy so we'll figure it out uh let's send him over here adam the woo i don't says, know what a woo is either uh he does youtube videos and this is something that has always interest dirty jim uh actually and, and you know it's funny because i started i've always had this thing and then i just started talking about it on the air about three years ago and then now, I mean, I'm not saying I started a trend, but now it's like every other, I mean, every day you go to Facebook, you see a post or you see somebody doing this. Uh, Adam the Woo is an urban explorer. Now, what is, uh, Adam, how you doing, buddy? Doing good. How First off, doing? I got to know what the woo is. What's, get really close yeah, to the yeah. mic, yeah. What's a woo? What, what is that? Actually, it's something I just made up off the top of my head. Oh, uh, okay. It means absolutely nothing. Like swirls. I, I say that at the end of the show, over. yeah. Eventually, it means people, nothing. It, it, it takes a connotation of its own. Okay, we need to get real close to the yes, mic. Talk right yeah, you got to talk into the directional mic. mic. All right. So I'm used to talking to a camera, not oh. into a microphone. Right, right. So, so using my iPhone or a DSLR or something of that nature. So you do um, you do uh, YouTube videos, right? Right. And, and what kind of YouTube videos do you do? Pretty much I travel around the U.S. Uh, about four or five years ago, sold all my stuff, moved out of my apartment, put curtains up in my van, and just travel around the U.S. full-time filming videos. So you live out of your van? Pretty much. Well, my parents my parents live in uh, here in Florida, in Central Florida. So when I'm in Florida, I stay with them. And I'm here for the holidays. Yeah. But normally, I, sl- I travel around. I'll get a hotel every once in a while, but normally just sleep in the back of the van. Okay. Uh, traveling around, living in your van. And what yeah. do you, uh, it just says urban explorer. What, like, yeah. what do you explore? Urban exploring is, I don't really call myself that, but that's a terminology a lot of people use for going into abandoned buildings or theme parks. Uh, things of the past, mm-hmm. relics of the past, mm-hmm. and they call it urban exploring. Basically, you video what something looks like now and then compare it to what it looked like before and give a backstory for it. And oh. Just to give you an idea, his latest video is at the U.S. Pipe and Foundry in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, mm-hmm. That was posted about six days ago, and he just goes through the whole foundry, the whole place, and shows you what it looks like today. And it's been abandoned. And it's been, yeah, abandoned for, what, a couple decades? Yeah, probably about ten or fifteen. Years. Yeah, okay. yeah. Some of these things are like in the mountains. You can find old sawmills where you'll you'll be walking on a trail, and there's like a little town that at one point supplied goods and services to people who worked the mill. And then when the mill was over, they just left. So like a ghost town, then. Yeah, it's like ghost towns and right. stuff like that. Real yeah. li- a real life ghost town, basically. Yeah. Now, are, are you a are you a believer in ghosts? Do you? I mean, you've been to all these uh, creepy places. Uh, I, do you get creeped out at all? I'm not a disbeliever. I'm not a believer or a disbeliever. And a lot of people that watch my videos are into the ghost stuff, so you have to kind of tread lightly with what you say if you disagree or right. agree with it. And I've never had anything personally happen to me. But so do, you, do you get creep? I'm sorry, but do you get creeped out if you're in you know like this, this place and there's nobody there? And you, I mean, it's, I would think it'd be kind of creepy. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, especially by yourself, yeah. and you know, it's completely pitch black. It's it's pretty terrifying. And that's sometimes. how. Do you have to do some of your uh, exploring in the dark? Obviously, in the and kind of in the uh, uh, the shade of dark, so you can kind of move around without being detected. No, not necessarily. Once you're inside a building, no one knows you're in there. Oh, really? And most of the time, you can just walk in. I make it very obvious. Some people sneak around kind of like Navy SEAL style. Right. But I walk in. I got my tripod extended and walking in. I got my camera and my uh, microphone on top of it kind of dangling. I kind of make it obvious I'm going in there. That way, if a cop sees me going in and they tell me don't go in there, I kind of know it's off limits now, at that point. Just from being into this, I know the Northeast is kind of like a, a treasure trove of abandoned buildings, giant brick asylums. that were There were once hospitals, then transferred into mental asylums, and then just abandoned altogether because they were just kind of out of date. Technology had gone beyond them. It would be more to uh, uh, retrofit them into new technology than to, uh, you know, it's just cheaper to build a new one. So is Florida considered one of the hotbeds for this? Because I know that when you throw Disney into the mix... And, you know, I know that New Orleans has an abandoned entire theme park. Yeah, Six Flags. Yeah, I've, Six actually Fl- been, I've actually been there as well to the, to the Six Flags there. Katrina took that out, pretty much wiped yeah. that out. 
Yeah, it's amazing. Have you ever seen those photographs? No, I've not. An entire Six Flags uh, over New Orleans, whatever, was wiped out by Katrina, and they never attempted to rebuild it. They just walked away from it. Well, I've, from what I remember, acreage-wise, it, it was the biggest theme park in the United States. I think you might be right on that. Yeah, it's pretty huge. Yeah, to get knocked out by a hurricane. It's crazy. <laughs> and so, okay, you go to these places, you video it, and then you put it on, on YouTube? Throw it right up on YouTube, now, yeah. do, do you, I mean, is this how you're making a living? or I've, I've just now gotten to the point after three years where I'm making just barely enough because now I got enough followers who help me out with donations and buying T-shirts, and I market myself pretty well all the time. Mm -hmm. When the "quote unquote" urban exploring thing kind of started, people were very secretive about it, wearing masks and not really showing themselves. Yeah, because you're and trespassing. Exactly. I took that to a whole different level, and I just made it kind of like skateboarding was a crime back in the day, right. and now it's mainstream. Mm -hmm. I think that's eventually what's going to happen with that, to a degree. But Obviously, you can't go to your house and you know snoop around, but if a bank owns it. And it's going to be bulldozed in a month. Who cares? What about, I mean, are you going to eventually run out of places? Do you feel like you, mm -hmm. or are there just so many places? Absolutely. Wow. Well, it's, that's that's one percentage of the things I do. I also do movie locations, oh, okay. and I do a daily vlog every day. Cool. It's pretty yeah. much anything that's a memory, either in the past or creating a new memory. It, that's that's what I'm about. What's that one where you walk in? Oh, it's the bar in Pretty Woman? Or what? what's the bar that where you walk into the hotel and it's the bar, and you're trying to get the staff to tell you if that's the bar that was in a really famous movie? What was, scene was that? Was that like a vlog I was doing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was National Lampoon's Vacation. Oh, that's right. That was the pool that Chevy Chase got oh, skinny. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? So it, it's abandoned now? No, no, it's a, that's actually not abandoned. Oh, I, okay. I kind of do a mixture of everything. So oh, he'll, he'll go to famous places that were movie sets, and he'll show you the still of the movie shot with the actors, mm -hmm. then show you the, the actual shot. That's another big thing that's becoming popular with, with guys like Adam. What's the, what's the scariest and most interesting places you've been? There's an abandoned highlight building up in the panhandle of Florida. Hmm. It's absolutely terrifying. Oh, why? Why, why is this? It's, it's, I mean, it's huge. It's a huge arena, right. and it's pitch black in there. And you have a flashlight, and there's nothing in front of you for the flashlight to hit. So when nothing's hitting, light's hitting nothing. You're just like in an abyss. You don't see anything. It's terrifying. And there's pigeons. And you can't really? figure out what the noise is. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty creepy. That, ab was, that was creepy. What about like an asylum? In Sunnyland, that Sunnyland. was around here. And I broke in there. Yeah, I just sent you there uh, over a radio Well, you bit can't say time. broke in. You just say, oh, the door was open. Yeah, yeah. And yes. you walked in. And maybe we had fence cut clippers. Allegedly. And, allegedly. <laughs> Not you. Have, you. have you done that one yet or no? No, that's bulldozed. It's, it's gone. gone. Yeah. Oh, it's all yeah. gone. Yeah. gone. Yeah. But an asylum or, or some sort of old hospital like sure. that would be super creepy. Have you done? I've done quite a few of those. Really? There's one in Indianapolis, and it actually has underground tunnels, something out of a horror film. Ooh. And when I went, it was like snowy and a blizzard. Oh. And you're just underneath these tunnels. You ever run into any uh, other person while you're out there? Yeah, a few yeah. times. Homeless people or squatters. Oh, no. Thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be out doing something else. Angela, a question for Adam the Woo. Adam, uh, just about a month ago, maybe two months ago, there was a, a video uh, or pictures that went up on uh, like Facebook, all social media, about like this new, like this newfound thing where there was a town in the middle of uh, nowhere, and up in the mountains. Yep. Someone strolled up on it, and they just found this whole uh, old town. Have you, do you have you made discoveries Absolutely. like that, or have you were you able to go to that place? I know exactly where that is. That's actually up near Gatlinburg Pigeon mm -hmm. Forge, up okay, in the Smoky Mountains. Yeah, yeah. And they they kind of exaggerated that a little bit. There's actually a walking trail there, and there's tourists that walk by there all day yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The guy just said it was. And it just it blew up and became this viral. Yeah, video. it totally did. I, it, it hooked me. Oh, it's weird. There's, in Miami, there's this big amphitheater down there that's just been abandoned. It's been graffitied, and you can't believe they haven't knocked it down because it's like oceanfront property. You I know? saw that. I saw. Yeah, yeah I, I, I saw that on yeah, the Marine Stadium. Yeah, yeah. Yep. They're actually on that same island. If you keep going, there you, there was a homeless squatter guy that lived there, and he opened a camp. And because he squatted there for so long, he ended up opening a restaurant and <laughs> owned the whole property because of squatter laws. So Adam, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, is there a, serious. is there a place that you want to go that's somewhere else in the world, like not in the United States, but you like you wanted to do some sort of a tour, like uh, in, you know, globally? Yeah, definitely, definitely love to do like Canada first. I'm trying to stick with U.S. Yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, we're going to travel worldwide, but it just costs so much money. Oh, so I, I figure I can pretty much annihilate every all my bucket list items in in you know the U.S. first, and then move on. Maybe you, do Canada. And you next. already have plans for where we're going to go next. Or are you yeah, just going to really? Absolutely. Where yeah, you going how, next? how many how many out do you have already booked? Like how many places do you know you're going when you leave here today? I usually just, well, I'm here till Christmas. You know, my parents live here, so we're till the end of the month. Yeah, New but Year's. I mean, like when you get back on the trail. I mean, you know, oh, I'm going here. I'm going to Georgia to see this. I'm going to South mm -hmm. Carolina to see that. Or yeah, I'll, I'll I'll basically map out a route. So I'll do like four or five states. And then the beauty of Facebook, and I got enough people watching me now where I'm always promoting Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. So people will say, hey, film a vlog here every day. Because actually, today is my 900, 
nine hundredth day in a row I've done a daily blog every day. Wow, oh, wow. that so, is that is so hard to do. Yeah. Do uh, do your parents let you sleep uh, in, in the house or in the van? Yeah, yeah, I like sleep in the house. Yeah, that's funny. Sleep in the van. Okay. It'd be funnier if they let you sleep in the van. Though. My mom is very hard headed. She would yeah. never let me sleep in the van. No, no. How old are you? I'm forty. I just turned forty. Man, yep. that's and how long have you been doing this? I quit my job three years ago. What'd you August. do? What'd you do? Retail. So grocery. basically, I worked at every grocery store you can think of. Do you have? Food. I mean, do you have an education? Nope, nothing. So this is just something that hit you, and you just decided. Oh, you're driving to- Jimmy crazy right now with every answer that you say. I absolutely. <laughs> I, I, I worked retail for so long, and I I absolutely hated the last job I had. Yeah, sure. And so basically, I was falling behind on my bills. I had a van. I was in the local band here for a while, and I, I had a full size van that I was paying. So I moved out of my apartment, which was very difficult. Sold all my stuff. And then put that money that I was paying for the apartment to pay my van off. As soon as my van was paid off, two weeks later, I quit my job. Hit the road. And you're like, I'm going to go to places that know it and, and take video. And I mean, that, that was, that's. It's see, very bizarre. It's I'm kind the, of bizarre. I'll be honest with you. zero zero one percent of the population. Yeah. yeah. Now, now people said, uh, uh, what about, um, I don't know if you, can you talk about the Cocoa Beach thing? I can talk about anything. Yeah. Okay. So there's a, uh, an issue in Cocoa Beach. Mm-hmm. Um, you're the only person I know on the planet that is physically banned from Walt Disney, yeah. from Disneyland. Yeah, Disney well, World. Disney World. <laughs> Disneyland is cool with me. <laughs> so you're banned from Walt Disney World? Yeah, because River right. Country. Why? They shut River Country down. And- well, about three years ago, I started filming some of the backstage stuff. River Country, which is an abandoned water park there. Yeah. I put that up and then started going into the park, and the curiosity got the best of me. And I'm a huge Disney fan. Like Walt Disney's like my idol. Nice. Honestly. So I had been to Walt Disney World and a pass holder for so long. I kind of wanted to see what was behind the scenes. Sure. And didn't realize at that point, because no one was watching my videos, oh, if I just sneak up here, like the second floor of the Journey to Imagination ride, there's a whole area up there. And there's a, uh, where Michael Jackson did this photo shoot with the rainbow tunnel, that's all still up there. Mm. Wow. And anybody can just walk up there. It's not, there's no doors or anything. So I walked up there and filmed it. And as I got more popular, they made an example of me. Oh, um, you're banned from all. It's a bummer. It's, now, that sucks. When we talked the other day, and I told the guys, and they were kind of rolled their eyes a little bit. When you say banned, you had made a comment. I made a comment to you. So you're banned from Disney, so you can't go to the park. Your comment was, I couldn't go see Jeff Howe play House of Blues right. and sit outside mm-hmm. of House of Blues just on Disney-owned property. Right. Yeah, I can't go to any of the resorts. Can't go to can't, can't de- downtown. Now, wait, wait, it, it, do they have a restraining order against you? Is that what it is? I just put my fingerprint. It's a trespass warning. Uh. So technically, I would have to go, and then they could you know, retaliate however they want. But I'm not going to push it. I mean, no. I broke the rule, and... Hopefully one day we can work it out. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Yeah, but you, the, the, <laughs> you never know. Yeah, that's true. But my thing was weird because <clears throat> you said the fingerprint thing. That's understood. They're gonna have your print on file. But if you're I mean, gonna if see you Jeff Howe, they're not gonna. I mean, you're just gonna roll on to, uh, onto uh, you know the the area out there at House of Blues and sit outside on the patio. I mean, you're telling me that after 30 minutes you're gonna have some kind of. Oh, wait a minute. there's one person watching Jeff Howe. He'll stick out like a sore thumb. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's the case. No, but those guys like uh, the guys that work security there. They're uh, Take that, Jeff. kept abreast of uh, trespass warrants and everything. Sure. I'm sure there's a catalog or a file book that they look at daily and they're like hey remember this guy or whatever yeah and i guess people all throughout the park all the time you know always looking for people that well yeah i'm pretty i'm pretty popular in the disney community so i know a lot of cast members there and a lot of people who have annual passes so where's your next adventure off to when you i'm driving out to california i'm going to try to be there by new year's eve Uh uh-huh going to disneyland yeah i I go out there quite a bit okay love it out there Stay in California for three or four months, go down to San Diego, go up to San Francisco, film a bunch of stuff. So you're looking for abandoned things in San Francisco? Yeah, and- a lot of movie stuff. I do a lot of 80s. I'm a huge 80s nerd. So mm-hmm. I've, done, I've done about 50 80s movies. Cool. All the locations. Do the side-by-side shots. And- now, nice. where, where can you see all this? All on YouTube. I just type in Adam the Woo. And- Adam the Woo. It's, yeah, Adam the, it's, it's the W... Oh, oh, oh. Yep, Adam the Woo, three yeah. words. Adam the Woo. What was the other thing I wanted to ask you about? Uh, um, not Adam obviously, the, woo, woo. the ladies, and I know the ladies love the Urban Explorers. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, and they I really love yeah. the yeah. dude who calls Van home. <laughs> You've got a van yeah. so where down we by the river. Uh, Let me tell you, when I check the analytics and the demographics, <laughs> that, that pie chart is just out of control in the female. Oh, <laughs> I bet, I bet, yeah. That's a sliver of a sliver, right? All right, well, good luck to yeah, you on your next adventure. You. Uh, you can see him on uh, his YouTube videos. It's Adam the woo.com super and interesting stuff man hey and uh feel free we'll give you the back line number feel free to give us a call sometime and uh awesome. just kind of give us updates to where you are and what you're doing yeah. and if you see something creepy or you yeah. run into a ghost we'll help the site and uh and help you get uh help you get big also the one that i watched yesterday so nick Toon's studios or nickelodeon studios nickelodeon. Is, is closed yeah. we're here at universal <clears throat> yeah it's yeah. closed down not for him 
So oh, go really? check it out. Yeah, I, may, I may or may not have a full video walkthrough. Oh, go check it out. I think it was Blue Man Group. Uh, Parts of it are. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of content on I'll there. I'll be so. interested. I'll check it out. All right, man. Have a great holiday. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, Thanks Adam. Uh, Thanks, you're guys. listening to the Mantra of the Morning. The Monsters Morning Drill Radio 104.1 broadcasting live on iHeartRadio. Hello, Jeff Howe. Russ Rollins. How are you doing today? Good. Thanks for the jab. I appreciate it. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't hear it, so I had to, I had to, re, I had to, I had to tell him what I said. So he, he, didn't. he even said, take that, Jeff Howe. Take that, Jeff Howe. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, man. Gotcha again. Gotcha. Uh, right. did, you, did you meet that guy? The, uh, Adam yeah, the I thought guy? he was super interesting. I was listening to it on the he, way in. He lives in a van. Yeah. And breaks into places and videotapes it and makes yeah. money. Breaks in is not yeah. the right word, okay. remember? Um, if the door happens to be open. Sneaks in. He uninvitedly visits. He uninvitedly visits yes. places. We're not trying to blow up a spot. Right, right, right. And, but has found a way to make money doing that. Yes. Now, isn't, God that, bless him. isn't that amazing? When you can take something that you like to do yeah. and turn it into a money-making yeah. venture. That's hey, the goal. I sure wish this? I could. At 38 years old. Yeah. 39 years old, whatever it was. Said, mm, I'm done with this. Yeah. Checked out, decided to live in his van. I mean, you're talking about like following a dream. Yeah, that's his dream. Following his, that, yeah, I mean, that's balls. It's an odd that, dream to have. Following but... a dream that doesn't really have potential. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> you know, that's that's balls right there. Well, you can't say it doesn't have potential because no, you don't well, know. That, I mean, no, what, no, no, no. What I'm saying is, it, it, in no his mind, yeah, he did. He did. It, I mean, nobody had really done it, and made money doing it. Oh, I see what you're it. saying. You see what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So, He's uh, setting a new standard. Yeah. It was. It was definitely. Let's say outside of the box. Yeah, yeah, no question. And there's a situation that I didn't want to talk about going over on uh, Coco, that glass building that, what, what, uh, that has been like an eyesore thing. I guess there's a, a building in Coco that everybody knows about. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know that, what you're talking that's about. It's been abandoned or whatever. And the one guy who owns it actually shot himself in the building. Yeah, and Jesus oh, showed yeah. up on it, I think. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, he's always around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, no, it was one of those things where they thought Jesus, you know, that yeah. they could see his face or whatever, and people were showing up, taking pictures. And then, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, he got it. I mean, uh, he was in there, and. Uh, they didn't care for that so much. That's cool. He said, he, he said he's like, I've been listening for a long time. Was, yeah, he's, that's he's, fun coming in. Yeah. Oh, he's a big fan. Been around for a long, long time. Well, he's in his van all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nothing yeah. better to do. <laughs> Just driving around take the van. Take that, Russ Rollins. <laughs> uh, all right. Here you go. When we come back, Carlos will take you to the top. Woo. You're listening to the Monsters of the Morning.